Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is one of the more recent just for fun videos that I'm doing, but there are many, many videos on this channel that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, or body image challenge. I was once asked why I didn't make a separate channel. I am an advanced holistic health practitioner, individualized weight loss and nutrition specialist. So why don't I have two channels? And the reason why is because to me, being healthy, maintaining a healthy weight, all of that is a part of your lifestyle. It's one and the same. So I thought I would intersperse as per request different videos of days in my life, different things I'm doing. This was a test drive, a Porsche video. I'll let you know at the end if I did end up buying the car. Stay to the end to see that. Anyway, if you're new here, please, please subscribe. This channel can help so many people. There is something here for everybody. It's free info. So it's legit. Take a gander at some of the older ones if you want to see what's up in terms of health or weight loss. Anyway, I apologize for the audio in the beginning of this video as the mic situation was not hooked up right that day. Wasn't working. So the very, very beginning is a little annoying to listen to. The rest of the video is absolutely fine. So enjoy the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you back here at the end. Here's what we're doing today. We are going to because I need a new car and I really, really like the crossover slash SUV style. I'm sorry about the noise. My mic situation is not up at this moment. I love sports cars. I love motorcycles. I miss ripping around on a bike. I miss ripping around in my little sports car. I drive a soccer mom vehicle right now and it's driving me nuts. So I thought, what about combining soccer mom and sports car and we'll go for the Porsche Macan. This is what it looks like. It is definitely everything that I want. So we're going to give it a drive today. Let's see how it goes. If I get 91,245 likes on this video, <laughs> I'll purchase it. Figure there's so many different ways. A little longer than a few minutes later. I've just spent a few minutes configuring absolutely everything. I'm still not quite sure what I'm doing. Like, what are these? The most elementary and valuable statement in science, the beginning of wisdom is, I do not know. I do not know what that is, sir. Those to change gears, this is up, that's down. But you have to knock it over to go into manual mode. So manual mode here would be, I think it's over. Okay, and he said there's a sport button. Yep. And he said, try it first without pressing the sport button and yes. then press it and then i asked him like why why am i so weird <laughs> like why would you even have a button why wouldn't you want it on all the time and he was like i always have it on <laughs> told you about sorry what so i'm gonna this is drive there's so much to do in here i can you're good okay <laughs> Let's just throw my purse in there and tell him we'll take it. I haven't even left the parking lot. Oh. <laughs> That's what I mean. Oh. 
the brakes. Okay, this car is extremely responsive. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, was that the floor or no? No. Oh, man. That was like just two inches. Not, really? Yeah. I'm, oh. If you get Blair Witch car sick, I'm sorry, but oh sh I actually can't break less force. <laughs> um, I will try. I will try. I'm sorry. That is really annoying, but I will try. Like, part of me is like, do I need? Do I really need all of all of these things? I don't. Okay, so it takes a minute to realize that you want to go fast, but then it's like you're going fast. Look how fast this person's going. Just go right to the floor. I'm too scared. Yeah, just floor right now. You got space. You got space. I'm too scared. <laughs> okay, that was just just barely to the floor. Oh my lord! I only have had two speeding tickets in my life. I sense a third one on the way. <laughs> to be honest, as we drive this car around and as I'm actually literally in the purchase place right now, but I don't know. Like, is it necessary to have this much? Like, I don't even know that I would press all these buttons ever. I don't even. Well. Let's get to know the car a little, but I want to go to the highway. Can I push the uh, the exhaust button? The loud, loud button? There's a loud exhaust button? Yeah, there <gasps> we are. <laughs> For what? Like Make, just for sound? Yeah, just for sound, yeah. <laughs> no, I got it. I already filled oh. it all. Yeah, there we are. Okay. And then when you go on the highway, just oh. give her and see how it sounds. You might as well put it in sport mode now, too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that? Yeah! This is so bomb. This is exactly what you're looking for. This is actually precisely what I want. And what I'm starting to do, which comment below if you actually do this or if you're one of those paranoid frugal people like me by paranoid frugal I mean I have a very good job I make a very good income however I was raised with the lack mentality because my parents like although you know middle class I wouldn't even say upper middle class just middle class family of the suburbs I was raised to always be worried that there's not enough money and that what if you run out of money and blah 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 so now that I'm an adult and I'm in the position where that's not a legitimate fear of mine to have I I am so frugally minded, frugally minded, frugal minded that when I spec'd this car online, I was doing this whole like, oh, what well, we don't need that and we don't need this necessarily, blah, 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 blah. How inexpensive can I make this vehicle, basically? You can tell I'm nervous because I'm going very slow. <laughs> Normally I drive like a bit of a maniac. And then I thought, what I do nowadays let me know if you do this too is if I know that I want this car in the future and this is the car that I'm gonna buy and this is gonna be the car as in not an in-between vehicle for me <laughs> why not buy that right now like why wait and save all your money I swear to god I'm not gonna be one of those people that dies with a ton of money in their bank account I think that's we make money to have these luxuries in life right so I think there's a fine line between being stupid with spending and actually spending what you should it's so funny that my car right now is the shittiest soccer mom vehicle actually it's not shit because the thing will not die why won't you die I didn't adjust the mirrors so I can't <laughs> see it's so sloppy in terms of its response it's Hear that? I'm scared. Basically, you feel like you're off-roading no matter what. And this, I want to go around some corners. Like, I want to find Windy Road. And we can take it around corners so I can just feel how it actually does what I want it to. <laughs> and turns when I want it to. There's no way in hell I'm leaving there without flying this car. There's nothing left to decide. It already happened. I think we all knew that already. Do you hear the, the purring exhaust note with the sport mode? Do you hear how it purrs now? Oh, it sounds so good! <laughs> Six cylinder is not a shit four cylinder. Okay, what is that sound? That's I, this I, I think it's, I think it's, yeah, it's a uh, lane keeping assist probably. It's telling you like you're riding the line. Let's ride the line and see. Yep. <laughs> it's so polite. It's like... <laughs> Going straight is great, but I wanna I wanna rip around. But 
I am in love and have you ever found something that you loved even if it was too expensive to afford or whatnot and then you realize that you're just ruined for everything else like that like I have a pair of Nikes I'm obsessed they're called the Nike Free RN 2018 there has never been a more comfortable shoe on my foot in the history of the world and obviously based on my job and being in the fitness industry for so long I've had the comfy shoes and nothing beats that so I went shoe shopping and unfortunately every other shoe is just just ruined it's never gonna be as comfy as those and Nike did not even make a next-gen version of that which is offensive anyway but I just think I'm ruined now for every other vehicle because it literally feels like you're driving a sports car. It does not feel like an SUV at all. And I know it is smaller than their SUV, like technically this is Porsche's answer to the crossover, but this is spectacular. And I should have put Waze on so that we can see where the cops are so that I know where I can speed. Because Waze, if you don't have Waze, download that because it is the best. Oh yeah, we're going around a corner. We don't have to pretend like we're in the Ford Escape. <gasps> oh, wow. wow. You know what, I'll say this corner is better than the, than the Miata does. Did. Oh yeah. Yeah. The Miata, the Miata was tight. Oh yeah, sports on, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, we ain't leaving without buying this. Put it in my purse. I will take one. I was gonna say I'll take two. What the hell am I gonna do with two of them? I think that's the lane keeping assist button here. Do you wanna turn it off? No. Okay. I like it. That's what I wanna know is like, what the hell? <laughs> Can you feel your face like? <laughs> And you don't feel like you're going quick. You want to put it in manual mode and change the paddle paddles? I'm too. I don't know. Like well, I know how to drive standard. You just but go. Wait, Is there's it? no. There. there. Now, like downshift with that one. This one. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Hear it? Do one more. My foot is trying to find a clutch, and I know there <laughs> isn't one. And do one more. There you go. Oh. Now, yeah. Now, now give her. Put, put it down. And then click that one. Drop. There. Okay, I like manual more than automatic in general. I miss driving a standard car. <laughs> <laughs> you want to turn that yeah, off? Yeah, I the can video. turn it on now. I don't there. stay in. I don't color in the lines <laughs> in life. Um, but yeah, the uh, I like a manual transmission. It's just so much better. I don't like. And people always say, well, it's annoying. It's a hassle. It's not. It's the driving experience that I really appreciate. I, I like that, and so I'm losing my train of thought because I'm so enamored by this car. You know in a standard car, like you can really, you know exactly when to change gears. Like you know. Yeah, I'll put it, when we put it in auto? Yeah. There. And I don't know how to tell with, do you call this Tiptronic? Uh, not anymore, that is uh. Oh, <laughs> That's a, it's, it's a, it's a PDK, you can insert the actual word, the German word below for people. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh shit. Oh wait. No, no you're good. No, no, you're in auto now. Help. Help. Oh, I just click that one. No, it says manual and auto now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to park because I can't. It's not driving properly now because it's stuck on both. Oh shit. Oh, I can't turn here. Oh, 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 I've made it. Yeah, there you go. We're better. We're all back to normal. <laughs> if you press the tip chunky things or whatever they're called, PDK. You, you can go. Fuck the bus. <laughs> anyway, if you click those accidentally with your hand while it's in auto, you will, in effect, use the gears again. And that's a mystery to me, but whatever. Does anyone else have that syndrome where if there's too many options, it's kind of like overwhelming for your brain? Like when I go to a restaurant to eat something, yes, and there are so many options, I can't, I get overwhelmed and I don't want to decide. I'd rather there be less. I'm a little feeling like that in this car right now, but regardless of having too many options, nothing drives like this, of this style, like of a, an SUV-ish style. I I think I want to kind of go to Snake Road. It's the only road I can think of that's windy, but I'm getting better at the braking. You know what? They don't have the blind spot mirrors here. No. But I feel like for this car, it should. I'm not very good at driving. 
good driver. Okay. And my audience is well aware of that by now. We're not, uh, we're not the best driver. What I do have to do though is um, park and adjust the mirrors because I can't see properly. Sorry. I can cut you off because I'm faster now. Oh. <laughs> Going over that in my car would have been like. <laughs> oh, sh That's going to take a lot to get used to. The brakes are so t t barely cap. Okay. Why is there a plus and a minus? Oh, because you can also do manual mode up, up, down, down. There's an off-road button. If I drive over a pebble, I have a button to help me. Yeah, I, I, I'll get it. Heating and cooling seats. I don't know what this little thingy means. Or this. Apps. Look at this. I can actually, or I can write it. La la la. It's gonna be like, what restaurant is that? I can pick restaurants. I can pick, where's the gas station? Hotel. Google search, which it looks like it's not hooked up. No data. Okay, so it'll hook up to my internet. The weather, the news. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at all this. What's that? Private mode devices. Oh my God, okay. When I do receive this vehicle, we all know what's happening. I'm gonna go on a date with it and literally sit in here for like 10 hours figuring out what the heck I'm Bob. It tells me the last destination. What if I don't want people to know where I'm going? Well, I guess it's just for me, really. Oh. Oh. Okay, so you have to hold that down and press the brakes to make that work. Keyless entry over here. Oh, mirrors. Got it, got it. Okay. Okay. They were so off. I'm surprised we didn't die. Mirrors are important. Important, gang. The rear view is absolute perfect. And then, does this save presets? As in, like, I'm the driver right now, but there's like a Chris button kind of thing? Maybe. I don't know. It's probably an option. Everything with Porsche is an option. Okay. Let's carry on our adventure now that the uh, we mirrors are all good. How do I open that sunroof? <gasps> That's the shade. We don't want the shade, we want it open. But can it open open? Can it be like open? It should, yeah. I'm right in the middle of the parking lot, but nobody is around me, so it's okay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so remember, you won't be able to hear anything because of the wind noise. Well, maybe not. Well, that's okay, let's just... I don't care, because I just really... <laughs> Oh, I'm so in love. My name is Nathaniel. I'm 27 years old, and I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car. <laughs> but I do wonder about the oil change sitch. Oh, no. I can't drive like that anymore in something like this. So, if oil changes are expensive, I would hope you don't have to get it done very often. no happiness like a car that drives proper seriously god it feels good to have a car that responds it's like you know i've been told this about various conversations about having sex imagine you're having sex with somebody and they don't they're not responsive like you're doing everything to make them feel good and they're just dead fish you know it's driving to me is similar to that where it's a much better and much more fun experience when you have response to what you're to what you're doing. I have to remember in this car I'm fast enough to do everything. <laughs> I got to the point in the Miata where driving it was like butter. There's just so many options. Like I almost wish there weren't that many, but once, I'm sure once you get used to it, it's like getting an iPhone after having a flip phone for so long, you're like, what the heck? <gasps> the mirror's pulled in. I found that button. It's nice because it's not like, ah! 
because I remember my first bike was a slow on the on the throttle like it, it didn't speed immediately which I actually really appreciate I know people like to go zero to a billion in five seconds but that's not really me I prefer to have a nice slow start but then you can go super super quick and it's very responsive then my second bike I don't know if it was because it was fuel injected at this time or whatnot but the second bike scared me <laughs> because the throttle was so like uh, uh. what color you'd pick. I'm a really big fan of light colored interiors. I love that. However, my car right now is a light colored interior and if you wear new jeans, I'm telling you, it's going to wreck the leather. But I'm excited for you to drive it because you were actually really good at driving <laughs> and I'll get a better idea of how it feels. But it's very responsive to shitty driving as well. I'm not that bad at driving. I make fun of myself because I'm not the greatest, but I'm not horrible. For me, it's being mindful. It's mindfulness makes all of the difference. And I'm prone to being absent-minded if I'm not careful. Absent-mindedness. I have a lot of older clients that say they're worried they're getting dementia or they're worried that they're getting Alzheimer's and it runs in their family. But more than half the time, it's a woman in her 70s, so I give her a mindfulness exercise where I say, everything that you do, I want you to pay particular attention. When you put your keys down, be mindful where you put your keys. Say to yourself, I'm putting my keys here. And sure enough, everyone is fine. We are so not used to being mindful enough in this day and age. I blame technology for that. Just like how kids don't have to use their imagination anymore. That's scary. Just like how you can't do math anymore without a calculator because of the calculator. So, practice. Practice your math and mindfulness. It just feels so good. Like driving is so good. Driving in a car you don't like is not good. Chris is gonna drive now so we can see exactly how a vehicle should feel. My first time driving a Porsche. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Chris is the uh, vehicle person. I'm not really. Oh, look at all my fingerprints on the little touchy thing. I have it in manual mode. That's good. You're more of a manual guy. Yeah. Do some dream building. I highly recommend that. Chris and I have been very big into the law of attraction, manifestation, dream building, all of that. If there's a kind of house that you want, go find one that's for sale. Go walk through it. Feel what it would feel like if it belonged to you. And when you elicit an emotional response, a positive emotional response from that activity, that is what changes the vibration around you and creates these sorts of little synchronicities that end up helping you on getting to that goal. So, highly recommend you do some dream building. Okay, we're gonna go back. <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> uh, that's a good time. That's a good time, I tell ya. Look, we are in in the Porsche warehouse. Trying to decide between different rims at this time. Porsche test drive day. I did end up buying the car that day. It is now a lot later. That was an old video as you can tell by the length of this mop. That was quite some time ago. However, I do get to pick the car up at the end of this month. It is now October. I hope you had a good time watching that. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up down below. That helps me know what kind of videos to keep creating for you. If you want to know anything even about me or health, wellness, body image, weight loss, anything like that, comment below and let me know if you have any video ideas send them over because I'm game for a lot of fun stuff if you would like notifications of each time I post a new video please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be notified every time I upload and until next time please do subscribe have super amounts of fun in your life have super amounts of fun dream building it works I can prove that and I can't wait to catch you next time bye